in this video we will try to understand how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of overhanging beams the arrangement of the beam is as shown over here and we have to draw shear force and bending moment diagram for this particular arrangement the first step is to find out the beam reactions now the overhang is provided on the left hand side of 24 kilo newton now we'll apply the conditions of equilibrium to find out the beam reactions so first condition that we are applying over here is summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero upward forces we are considering them as positive and downward forces they are considered as negative so ra and rb they are acting in the upward direction so they are positive whereas 24 kilonewton it is acting in the downward direction so it is negative and therefore ra plus rb is equal to 24 kilonewton that is our first equation the another condition of equilibrium is summation of moment about a is equal to zero so this rb will have anti-clockwise moment about a so arrow of this reaction rb which is the upward acting arrow will produce the anti-clockwise moment about point a and hence it is negative and we know that moment is nothing but force multiplied by perpendicular distance so it is rb into 100 this 24 kilonewton the downward acting arrow it will also produce the anti-clockwise moment about point a so that is also negative and that is 24 into 250 now transfer this negative term 24 into 250 on the other side it will become positive so we can say that minus rb will be equal to 24 into 250 divided by 800 that is 7.5 transfer the negative sign also on the other side so it is minus 7.5 kilometer negative sign indicates that the assumed reaction of rb is wrong we have to take this in the downward direction so that will correct in the next diagram now substitute in equation one so we can say that ra is equal to from equation one it is 24 minus rb so it is 24 minus of minus 7.5 so it is 31.5 kilo newton the next step is to draw shear force diagram so now you can see as the value of reaction rb was negative we have changed the direction correct so assume direction was wrong and therefore we have now changed the direction for this now we have to draw shear force diagram so we'll start with the point c the conventions that we have used for shear force diagram are upward forces they are considered as positive whereas downward forces they are considered as negative so shear force at c will be equal to minus 24 kilonewton as it is acting in the downward direction just left of the a without considering ra will be same because there is no force that is acting between c and just left of the a so al stands for a left then exactly at point a it will be minus 24 plus 31.5 that is 7.5 kilonewton then just left of the b correct there is no force acting between a and left of the b so it is same as that of the 7.5 kilometer and exactly at point b it will be 7.5 and this is acting in the downward direction so it is minus 7.5 that is equal to 0 kilonewton so now we are drawing the shear force diagram over here so as you can see the various values at c it is minus 24 at a left it is minus 24 kilonewton exactly at a it is 7.5 remains constant at up to b left and at b it is zero now the next step will be to draw the bending moment diagram so we know that at the end points of any simply supported beam the bending moment is zero so bending moment at c will be zero and at b will be zero so we are left with only to find out the bending moment at point a consider all the forces on the left hand side of a so on the left hand side of a we are having this 24 kilonewton load which is acting at point c and it will produce anti-clockwise moment about a and force multiplied by perpendicular distance so as it is anti-clockwise the value will be negative so it is minus 24 into 250 that is minus 6000 kilonewton mm or minus 6000 divided by 1000 kilonewton meter by converting kilonewton mm into kilonewton meter and then bending moment at point b is zero now using these values we have to draw the bending moment diagram so as you can see 
at the end points it is zero and at point a it is minus 6000 kilonewton mm kilonewton mm so in this way we can draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of simply supported beam carrying point load and having left hand side overhang thank you very much for watching